Next on Great Day at 9A, after a wet and rainy morning, when more storms could roll into our state, we're tracking an early warning weather alert. Why charging it is becoming more common here in Connecticut, just how much all of our credit card debt has gone up. Plus, the top tips to help families pay for college, even if you're already saving what you need to know to make sure you are on track. We're getting more flexible with some furry friends, but this time I'm missing out on the cuddles. Find out where you can do goat yoga on Great Day at 9A right now. No kidding around this morning. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Great Day at 9A. The rain is coming to an end for now. Yes, more storms could be on the way this afternoon. Hello to you, Scott Haney. Hello, who are you? I'm Caitlin Francis. Oh, you're in for Nicole. I am, yeah. Well, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> uh, yeah, those storms are, uh, we had them this morning. Lots of lightning, lots of thunder. But as you can see from Channel 3 Early Warning Dual Pole Radar, this is live. This is taking a look at the only live Doppler radar in Connecticut. That rain is uh, slowly marching out of the state. So we're actually seeing some blue. I talked with Chief Meteorologist uh, Mark Dixon just a couple of minutes ago. He said, I'm seeing some blue out there, and I believe him. Uh, so we, uh, nonetheless, the rain is moving out. We still have a little bit of lightning, a little bit of thunder in northeast and southeast Connecticut. But uh, you're going to notice the rest of the day. Here comes the sun icons with the thunderstorm icons. Okay, so. Anytime between 2 and 7, we're going to be running the risk for more scattered showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be strong to severe. So we're going to keep our eyes to the skies, and if they look threatening, head indoors. Warm and humid, isolated severe storm chance again this afternoon. We're going to get a little bit of a, bit of a break between about 10 and 2, and then more storms roll in this afternoon. And then after that, we're good to go. I forgot to change the dates. Oh, I'm such a knucklehead. That's okay. So, okay, so today, today, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah, and this uh, flood advisory. It's been marching along with the rain. Um, so the flood advisory is in effect for portions of uh, New Haven, Middlesex, and New London right now. So there could be some minor flooding out there as well. It's uh, and that'll that'll slowly go away. That's good. Yeah. So it's but just been such. But it's a, been moving from um, west to east. West uh, no. Uh, right? Yes, west to east, southwest to northeast. Okay. So nonetheless, it uh, it, it kind is, of directions it, are challenging. It was a little bit difficult this morning. I got to be honest with you. It was a busy morning. Yep. In the early morning weather center, but it's a good day for that Channel Three weather app. That's for sure. If you haven't yep. downloaded it yet, here is the QR code. You can head right yeah, head to right your to screen. screen right now. Get, grab get, your phone. Grab your phone and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had the music for this one, but uh, you can just use your, ca your camera phone, scan it, and then it takes you right to download the app wherever you download your apps from. You can see live pinpoint Doppler, get severe weather alerts directly from your town, see up to the minute forecasts from all of our super talented team of meteorologists. Absolutely. And of course, Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon will be in this afternoon tracking all of the storms for you. So keep it tuned to Channel 3. All right. All right uh, turning to our top story today, Alex Jones in a Connecticut courtroom. Yep. A jury will be deciding how much money Jones will have to pay families of Sandy Hook victims, as well as an FBI agent in a defamation case after Jones spread lies and conspiracy theories on his show about the 2012 school shooting in Newtown. This particular case is just going to be about the damages uh, that these families have faced, as well as this FBI agent, uh, based on the defamatory and um, and incorrect and disinformation that uh, disinformation that was spread by by Mr. Jones and his platform. All right, so people are starting to are expected to start to show up to court in just about a half hour, and then that trial will begin around 10 o'clock this morning. Experts say this case has the potential for an even bigger judgment than the case in Texas that we saw last month, where Jones was ordered to pay almost $50 million to one family. Again, proceedings will start this morning at 10 o'clock, and they could last as long as four weeks. So we'll be streaming it up on the Channel 3 app and WFSB+. Plus. Our crew will break down what happened today on Eyewitness News at noon, and then again starting at 4 o'clock. Moving to an update to a story we told you about yesterday here at Great Day at 9A. State police say a rug found in the, uh, the Farmington River is not related to any criminal activity. Hmm. Connecticut State Police announced this was not evidence. 
and the stains were not blood. This comes after self-proclaimed paranormal investigator Sean Austin and his friends went live on TikTok, claiming it might have something to do with the disappearance of Jennifer Farber Dulos, remember the new Canaan mother who went missing back in 2019. Investigators say it has nothing to do with her disappearance. It was likely just used by kayakers to help launch their boats. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, if you're charging things on your credit card even more right now, you're not alone. <laughs> Our state ranks 26 for credit card debt increase in the past three months. Personal finance company WalletHub says each household here owes an average of $9,000 to credit card companies. Oof. Oof. That's a $621 jump, and it's the 26th biggest increase out of all 50 states. So are you charging more? I don't, no. I use my credit cards for everything because I get points back on my credit card. So if I feel if I don't use my credit card, then you're missing I'm getting out. gypped out. I'm, yeah. I feel like I'm missing out. But you're, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're charging more or less. No, it's I'm charging the same. about the same. Yeah. Yeah. Although when I did go on vacation, because I was in a group this week, I went and I used cash mostly from my vacation because when you're in a group setting, everybody's got to chip in. And I hate throwing oh, in card after card after card, splitting, splitting these, bills and splitting stuff. Splitting bills. So yeah. I just gave cash. So uh, That's smart, I, didn't, I didn't get the points for that. That is something people don't have on hand anymore. Cash. Yes. I, I, it's, it was so rare to walk around. I have $10 in my pocket from that trip. You want it? Yeah. All right, here's 10 bucks. Go call a cab Thank or something. You. You're welcome. Give that back to me later. She's keeping it. That's I don't believe mine it. now. <laughs> um, so we are. All right. I, I, yeah, we're, I'll use this for uh, NFL. Okay, perfect. Okay. Good. Week one of the NFL is officially in the books. Some pretty wild moments, though, Scott. Yeah, the Seahawks came out on top of the matchup last night against Seattle's former quarterback, Russell Wilson. Yeah, Wilson played his first game as a Bronco Ooh. last night in Seattle, despite a big touchdown to Jerry Judy in the second quarter. Wilson and the Broncos lost by one after Denver's kicker missed a 64-yard field goal. That Come on. Would have you you got to give the guy a break. 64, 64 yards. yards. That's a pretty long field goal. That's a goal. pretty long field goal. Yeah. I mean, God bless him if he I, made that. You know, good for you for knowing that, though. No, seriously. I mean, I <laughs> I know there's only 100 <laughs> yards in the game. He's got to go 64 with one kick. Yeah, that's not reasonable. Th that is so not reasonable. So uh, Becky, our producer, won her matchup for fantasy this week. Oh, good. Yeah, Congratulations, we, appar Beck. Apparently, we have a Channel 3 Fantasy Football League. We do? We do. Are you guys in it? No. All Jason, right. Alex, you guys play? No, fantasy? I don't Fantasy? You don't play? Okay. I, don't even, I don't know how to do it. Maybe somebody can teach you me. You pick players, you draft your own, you draft players, and then you have your own team made up of players from different teams across the NFL. Sounds very complex. It is sort of complex. It's very stress-inducing. I, I can't even get the real thing, no less the fantasy thing. Well, Joe and uh, Joe Zone and Mark Robbins have their own fantasy football podcast here. They do. Yeah. That's interesting. So if you're interested in learning more about fantasy, then. There you go. All right. Very Stream good. that. Okay. Very good. All right. We're sticking with a more athletic theme this morning, but maybe not quite as hard hitting as football. Let's calm down a bit with <sighs> some yoga. Okay. Oh. Um. When it comes to yoga, you usually want to find somewhere relaxing to practice, some soft music, maybe a little alone time. Mm hmm. What do you think about this, though? I think Channel 3's Marcy Jones is finding out how bringing some new friends along may make your next yoga class more fun. <gasps> Marcy, look oh. at you're not kidding. Those are adorable. You're not kidding. <laughs> We're not kidding. Normally, you don't have somebody else in your yoga class getting on top of your lap, but hey, I'm all up for new experiences. We are here at Bradley Mountain Farm in Southington. I am making all new friends now. I mean, I thought it was just because I'm really cool, but I do have pellets. Don't tell them. Oh, look, there's some more there, guys. Okay, so we're going to head on over here. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I'm here with Annalise, and we're going to give them a little command, right? To yeah. get, okay. Oh, oh, hi, Miles. Oh, he had something to say. What's going on? They're saying namaste. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get up here, Teddy. Teddy's a great one. We did, we practiced this before. Guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's two, two. The most relaxing experience. There's two? There's two. You oh, look I like do. a camel. I feel, yep, I feel it. I feel, <laughs> I, yep, here we go. Okay. Oh, I can't even get through this cheese. You guys, this is the most amazing. If you just want to feel absolutely <laughs> relaxed, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are right. in. We're going to be back in just a few minutes. All Somebody right. get me a hairbrush. Thanks, Mars. <laughs>
Good luck. Amazing. Amazing is right. I've been to uh, Bradley Mountain <laughs> Farm so in Southern Did you do goat yoga? I did goat yoga. How'd it go? It was really good. I got to be honest with you. Is it relaxing or is a it just... A little bit of relaxing. I feel like it's a stress relief, yeah, right? Yeah, total stress relief. You get relief. to laugh, you make have friends, some fun. You make friends with the kids. 